about to go steal some of these Indian land now. Just gonna ask them politely, because that's the right way. and stealing the land. Last time wasn't so successful, but I brought a little friend with me this time. Do you want free land? This is the land for you. Come take part in our 160 acre race for the free land. Pick your very own perfect piece of land. Bring your horses, bring whatever you need to secure your land. Pick 160 acres of this beautiful land. Come take part in it. May 23rd this year. built this house it's a work in progress but it'll work for now it's just we needed five years it's just a tin shed but it's got a bed just dig a hole if you need to go to the bathroom but you know I'm not gonna say where that's at now let's go take a tour to them Indian right, now we're with area and what, what have they changed your name to? Elizabeth. Oh, all right. So how do you feel about us taking your land? Meh. Meh? Meh. All right. Um, how do you like new civilization? Meh. She doesn't like to talk a lot. She's still very upset about it. She, she has PTSD. Um, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> she hasn't gone to school yet either. We're working on it. We really are. Help support our cause, assimilation. It'll work out in the end. So, like, I know it, it, you've been here for a while, but how do you feel now that you're more civilized. Still mad. I mean, you're not a savage living in the wild anymore. That was a whole lot more fun than living in here. What's your favorite color? Nature. Today we're here with Sit and Bull. Well, what did they change your name since then? John Smith. All right, well, John, how did you feel when they took your land? Pretty upset. Ah. Uh, why did you feel that way? Well, it wasn't your land. I mean, like, it was, but it wasn't. We've kind of been living here for some 